Hello everyone, it's uh, Rad. Uh, welcome to my channel Radku Tarot and uh, this is going to be a disclaimer that needs to stand in front of every video I do. So if you this is the first time you are here, welcome. If not, and should you wish to proceed, well, you can fast forward into the reading that it is ahead of this disclaimer. But as a disclaimer, I need to advise you that this is a, a general reading. Um, of the representative star sign and for that reason because tarot is very personal divination tool and does require narrative which in personal readings appear to be your question or the situation that you are describing uh, the read the general reading may or may not resonate entirely with uh, with your situation and if it resonates that great if it doesn't i do apologize for that but sh i'm yeah, and I wish you the best, you know, with some, with the situation that you're trying to cope with. But um, if you wish to proceed with the um, personal readings or uh, you wish to follow me on Facebook or on YouTube, you know, all, all of that or visit my website, all of that is going to be written in the description the box down below. And uh, thank you for watching in advance and uh, now lay back and uh, enjoy the video. All right, so this is going to be Aquarius and Aquarius Moon and as well Aquarius, Aquarius Rising. Weekly Tarot reading December 9th to December uh, 15, 2019. And bear with me just a couple of seconds, guys, to uh, shuffle the tarot cards. And we can go uh, right into a spread. And uh, as I mentioned, spreads uh, this week, a bit of a change. The spread is going to be eight card eight cards normal spread instead of four cards enhanced elemental dignity spread uh it makes things a little bit more laid back on my end so uh let's see what we got the topic of your week aquarius here is going to be the seven of pentacles followed by the second card which stands for the uh energies that are supporting the topic we have the judgment then we do have the challenges that you need to overcome here throughout the week that is going to be the nine of cups followed by the fourth card which represents the gifts and the blessings of the week that is going to be the tower wow that, that is going to be quite a big one guys uh then the fifth one stands for how people see you uh and that is going to be the nine of wands how the people are going to see you throughout the week afterwards we do have what can help your long-term goals not necessarily the goals of the week but the long-term goals what you should do throughout this week to support them that is going to be the hierophant card followed by the next one which points of what can hurt your long-term goals throughout the week and that is going to be uh, the high priestess and the last one that will be the energies that are supporting you not the energies excuse me the guidance the, the, the tarot has for you i'm sorry guys long day uh the tarot has for you we do have the star card all right <clears throat> so uh the first two they have to be interpreted together because they are pretty related to each other and we do have these the topic of seven of pentacles and the energies that are supporting the topic of the judgment card uh, it's pretty much the stop sign okay before you do something bad and something wrong i, I would say something in irreversible that there is no fixing whatsoever regarding your career or regarding your relationship you are to stop yourself understanding or realizing that that is not the right move that you have to do that there are there are still things that needs to happen there are still means or resources you need <clears throat> in order to make your advance and so instead of frantically bumping yourself into one wall to another, uh, the topic is going to be where you take of a actually quite peaceful and calm uh, stance here, waiting faithfully for the decisive, um, decisive event or the wake up call to happen. The, uh, the event that actually is going to be like the, uh, the starting sign, you know, the green lights on the traffic lights it says go you are the man you are the person now uh why this is happening uh because you are giving way too much than 
than it is needed. For example, personal time, for example, money, for example, you're sacrificing your career for your relationship or vice versa. It's just you're doing something wrong here and you're going to become quite aware what that thing is and also you're going to find a way how to fix it. So instead of having two options that neither of them is a, uh, a very potential or neither of them is very suitable, suddenly there will be a third option that is going to appear, which is the most suitable one. Actually, it is the most, the most logical one to be taken, but you just need to have the patience to wait for it to appear throughout this week. So what is going to be the challenge for your queries? We do have the nine of uh, cups and you're going to take it quite rough and quite personal, to be honest, having the having to stop your advance moving on forward with this card. And for the most um, sensational of you, the people who have exaggerated senses and emotions, it will feel like the life lost its taste. OK, it will feel like that life ain't full anymore. And that is going to be the challenge to maintain your emotional fulfillment throughout uh, throughout the week itself. How you can do so? Well, it's pretty simple. Just indulge with your blessings, indulge with your kids, indulge with your husband or a wife, you know, indulge with your hobbies and so on and so forth. Those things that never made you feel bad. One thing that comes to my mind right now is music. Listen to music all day long if you have to. Grab a good book and start reading it. You know, you just need to maintain your emotional stability. And that is going to be challenging uh, for you to do throughout uh, the week. The next card points to the gifts and the blessings. That's uh, Taro, uh, that the week or Taro is signifying that the week is going to uh, give you for throughout this week. And uh, we do have the tower card, quite of a, uh, I would say, violent gifts and blessings. It is what we do have here. So the blessing of the tower, it is about uh, the nourishment through destruction. What I mean it is that um, those things or those structures in your life that have been undermined or rotten, they are going to be brought down. That is going to be your gift with a chance from you to recuperate it, to fix it, to rebuild it, if you will, in a much more stable fashion, in a much more stable manner here um, in the week, December 9th to December 15th. Um, it's very difficult to describe it and to explain it, but I would say that the gifts are... Well, I would say it that way, whatever happens, even though it has an unpleasant uh, symptoms and circumstances throughout this week, is going to be for your greater good. Okay, it's just its result at the end. It's going to be positive for you and for your life. For that reason, do not judge the day by its morning. Okay, judge the day by how the day ends at the end of the day. So the other card here represents of how others are going to see you, how, how others are going to take on you. And that is the nine of wands. People are going to see you as a very cautious person, as a very self-aware kind of a, an individual, someone who is willing to test or it is determined to test before act. Because people are going to see you as a, a very wise person as well, understanding that one wrong move can actually undermine everything you have built. Not only just the rotten structures, but as well everything that you have built. And therefore, um, if there are those kind of individuals in your life that are trying to... Um, cheat you with something or trying to lie to you, they're going to have a second guess uh, attempting to it because for what it seems, they're going to take you as a someone who can see through the lies, okay? Or as a someone who cannot be slipped that easily from, uh, from the ground or to be strayed from their path that easily because once again, people are going to take you as a someone who... Um, it's uh, basically understands its position and always contemplates deeply and patiently upon the what it is presented before doing an action for for or an an action 
for a reason not to make the wrong move. Additionally to that, people are going to take you as an adaptive person as well with this card, um, not being afraid to make the necessary conscious changes that certain enterprises and endeavors are requiring from you. The other card here points to uh, what can help your long-term goal. We do have the Hierophant. So the calmness, additionally, it is what can help you. Now, um, you have to trust in the slow and steady process rather than on the short-term benefits. It is what the card points. So be more meticulous in regarding to your preparations when you are advancing towards your long-term goal. Additionally to that, Cancelling. I mean, you. If you are baffled by something, you you are not very sure how things works. For example, your goal is something from a um, a low based nature. For example, you do have a court case. Okay, cancel yourself with a lawyer before you presume what you can win from the case. All right, or cancel yourself with someone who is experienced in the nature of your goal and uh, finally what can help your goal here it is that before you jump into more unconven unconventional or unorthodox measures try the orthodox one and the conventional one okay because it is very possible with this card that your problems whatever problems are obstructing you to chase your long-term goals can be resolved <clears throat> in the already existing framework of a uh, of means and of uh, leverages. The other card here represents uh, what you should not do throughout the week or rather like a what can, um, how can I say, hurt your goal, hurt the advance to your goal. And the High Priestess is the, the inner wisdom or in other words, to take it as you know everything. Okay, and that's why we do have the Hierophant there. That you need counseling, you need to reconnoiter, if you will. Okay, instead of just kind of like taking the stance that you know everything and you can do everything and you can explain to yourself everything or you think that you can explain to yourself everything and uh, not seeking any competent or a professional help in anything. And that for sure, if not hurt, is going to severely delay your goal because the High Priestess is about standstill and not about advance at all. And the last card here, what we do have, it is the uh, Guidance that Taro is offering and we do have the Star card. So <clears throat> your stance uh, of not making wrong moves or being or knowing when to stop before something irreversible happen is going to serve as a, a great example. I mean, people are going to accolade you for the uh, strength of your spirit to resist temptations to move forward, to know or to sense when things are going wrong. Additionally to that, the star card here as a guidance urges you to share your good fortune with others as well. I mean, if you see that someone is doing wrong things, then advise them other way around. Uh, and uh, lastly, with the star card, a guidance is to show your unfolding love to those that you do love. All right. So if you love someone, tell them it's it's not you are not going to do a wrong thing. You are going to say the truth. All right. And your unconditional support as well. People who need your help, they need to receive your help or you should give them your help. Because with the star card, it looks like that your primary goal that is there is quite a long way to go before you actually reach it. And you don't know what kind of alliances you will need. So any person that is going to be attracted to your team at your turf is going to be a, a valuable connection. So that being said, Aquarius, this was your weekly tarot reading December 9th to December 15, 2019. Hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys. And we're going to see each other next time. Until then, 